For many actors, winning the, an Academy Award marks the pinnacle of their career. But for Marlon Brando, it was an opportunity to make a statement. But the messenger was vilified. CTV's Andrea Case joins us now with an apology five decades in the making. Yes, good evening, Sean and Michelle. Sasheen Littlefeather delivered Brando's acceptance speech. It was not well received. And for that, 49 years later, she has now received an apology. Marlon Brando in The Godfather. In 1973, Marlon Brando was a no-show. Accepting the award for Marlon Brando and The Godfather, Miss Shasheen Littlefeather. On live television at Brando's request, the 26-year-old activist and actress made her way to the stage in a beaded buckskin dress and moccasins. At the podium, she declined the Best Actor Oscar. He very regretfully cannot accept this very generous award. And the reasons for this being are the treatment of American Indians today by the film industry. Excuse me. She went on to spotlight the misrepresentation of indigenous people on television and movie reruns and the American Indian movement's two-month occupation of Wounded Knee in South Dakota. Some in the audience booed her. It was a moment which would change her life. In the decades since, she says she's been mocked, discriminated against, and personally attacked for her 62nd appearance at the Academy Awards. On June 18th, the Academy president sent a letter to Littlefeather offering an apology and an opportunity to heal. Today, he calls her act a powerful statement. The abuse you endured because of this statement was unwarranted and unjustified. The emotional burden you have lived through and the cost to your own career in our industry are irreparable. For too long, the courage you showed has been unacknowledged. For this, we offer both our deepest apologies and our sincere admiration. At the age of 75 today, Littlefeather says it is profoundly heartening to see how much has changed. Regarding the Academy's apology to me, we Indians are very patient people. It's only been 50 years. We need to keep our sense of humor about this at all times. It's our method of survival. Little Feather will return to the Academy's museum on September 17th for a conversation with the co-chair of the Academy's Indigenous Alliance for an evening of conversation, healing, and celebration. Okay, so to put this in even greater context, two actors who attended the Oscars that year were outraged. John Wayne wanted to physically remove the Apache woman from the stage. He was held back by security, and she was escorted off by security. And Clint Eastwood openly mocked her later in the broadcast as he presented the Academy Award for Best Film. Reporting live, I'm Andrea Case. Michelle, I'll send it back to you.